depends on how many staff we end up putting into the mix. It's probably a, between a 10 and 15 right now. In favor of going the slow far, farm central and get me numbers like what deliveries are for Tuesday. So today's the day that we actually sat down and finally started making our staffing decisions for the next season. It's got a hard time to fill because you know, I want to try and do it in the morning. So it gives us freedom to, to leave on a Friday afternoon to go on a you know, weekend vacation. And this is always a really complicated discussion because there are so many things we have to think about. Looks like we have the majority of people on Perrysburg. So 140. Sylvania has 87. <clears throat> so that's 158 total. All right, and so far in the member assembler software, I only have four staff members accounted for on Mondays and eight we need for Wednesdays. So we may actually be close to sold out. I just didn't know how many staff members we would want this year. There are three basic types of staffing positions on our farm that we have to decide on. So we have our production crew, which are predominantly our migrant labor crew that comes up from Florida, and they're our paid staff. They play, get paid by the hour. We have about four of those each year. That budget is roughly $37,000 of our hourly, hourly staff. And so those folks are life, but without those seasonal growers, like we would be, we wouldn't be able to do, we would not be able to pull off, we pull off every week. And then we have two other groups. We have what's called a work share crew. And these are the people that actually help harvest and pack the CSA boxes. We have roughly anywhere from 15 to 20 people who are work shares who work for, work for their food. And that's roughly out of our budget. That's roughly anywhere from 17 to $20,000. So we have Monday, you have uh, eight people. P is for packer, yep. H is for harvester. Correct. And we need eight people. That's based on the, num the numbers. From last year. And then we have what's called a site crew. And these are the people that show up at the CSA box pickup sites and they'll pass out the boxes with us and help us kind of organize the pickup process. We got set up now in some venues that we're, we have two are at, the, at, the, at the tables. So we have two lines. One person is taking that person's name. The other person is grabbing the box of we're getting the eggs, we, 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 we read off half veggie, fruit share, eggs, cheese, and then they'll grab those things and we'll, we, they both work together to get the whole product up on the table for that person. The process of actually choosing our staff is uh, we just sit in the kitchen together, we have a giant piece of butcher paper on the wall, we list the three harvest nights and the different um, staffing slots that we have open and that we need and then we just go through our list of staff members from the past year and, and we just plug them in you know how many slots do we have on a Monday night that's harvesting for our CSA boxes how many slots do we have for harvesters on a Wednesday night and a Friday night and we just go through one by one and fill them in I know Shares. I'm just I mean are we way saying, off I'm going, from I'm last going year off, no I'm going off numbers from last year we're pretty much the same same amount of people same amount of shares every, uh, these two weeks so we had we had eight people almost nine people on Mondays. And then Wednesday was floated heavier. We had two more people on, on Wednesday because of the farmer's market thing going on. But now with that gone, we should be able to do, these numbers are pretty similar, that we should be able to have the same amount of people on Wednesday. But I think um, along with that is that you should get cross-trained on driving truck and trailer. I made a vow when we got married that I would learn, that I would not learn how to drive a tractor or a trailer. Is that vow written down somewhere? Because I don't recall us talking about these never do things. So, so what about the kids? During the school year, I think I say we lean on Tanya because that worked really well. She liked watching the boys and the boys love playing with Kara and screwing around with Leif. I really don't want to learn how to drive the trailer. Because then you're going to start asking me to haul your trailer everywhere. When? I don't know. When? It's just going to start happening. I am making, we let the be, record show that as soon be, as I learn how to drive a trailer, if you're going to be asking me to haul it Kurt, everywhere. If Kurt gets hurt, what happens? Who's the backup? Mom. And you should have one more person. Yeah, I have. So Tanya will be the backup. Okay. I have, remember, um, Mary said that she would help me out. Mary. One oh, of the Mary, customers. Mary Dar. Dar, yeah. yeah. We're really, really careful about keeping the staff culture strong. And that means that every year we have to make hard decisions. We have to evaluate our team. And then Kurt and I sit down and we really think through who on this team is adding value. Is everyone on this team 
um, really working together and pulling together. Do we need to replace someone? So that means we're cutting a couple of people? We're cutting two, two folks from last year. Oh, okay. So now we have to figure out who those people are. Yep. Every year we have that tough conversation about who isn't gonna be able to come back. It's really hard for us, but at the end of the day, this is a business and we have to run it so that we can make money. It's still a tough conversation to have though. Yes, we just scored Michelle. Uh, super excited because we just confirmed a, a new staff member for our Friday Harvest crew. Um, Michelle she is just great and it's actually funny because a couple of years ago she was in our CSA and uh, she wanted to come out and just volunteer and sometimes we discover our next staff members in our work share program that way in the future okay we also have Toledo Farmers Market which is 29 right now well hey I won't take up too much of your time just wanted to see if you're so interested in being a harvester for us this year our staff retention rate is historically really really good and uh, Kurt has called just about everyone and everyone has said they want to come back so it's pretty awesome so I've got to find good people who I can depend on and trust so those are key factors that I look for when I'm hiring people and when I find those people I keep them I make them happy I want them to return bottom line Kurt cannot run the farm by himself there is absolutely no way that one person can be out there farming and doing everything that's required to deliver 400 CSA boxes every week to our customers. Uh, we have a huge team that stands behind us and getting the right people on the bus is absolutely central to our success. So we spend a lot of time really thinking through this decision carefully. Mm -hmm.